Hello and welcome to the SHMS Student News. I'm Nick. Today is a Friday, February 7th, and it's a red day. Today's lunch options are cheese and green chili quesadilla or chicken, cheese and green chicken quesadilla, variety of cold sandwiches and salads, personal cheese pizza, personal pepperoni pizza, or variety pizza. The next meeting of the Mother Daughter Book Club will be Thursday, February 20th at 7 p.m. at Scott Highlands Library. We'll be discussing the truth as told by Mason Battle by Leslie Connor. No reservation is necessary. Just show up with your mom. See Ms. Mildall if you have any questions. Attention 7th graders. The Washington, D.C. Parent and Student Information Night will be Thursday, February 20th at 6.30 p.m. in Lecture Room A. We will cover trip details, trip highlights, and how to sign up. For more info, check out this website or contact Mr. Sievkus. Mildred Loving had African American, European, and Native American descendants, and her family had deep roots in Central Point, Virginia. Central Point, Virginia was a place where people of different races socialized with one another, even at the height of the Jim Crow era. Mildred was born on July 22, 1939, and passed away on May 2, 2008. Mildred grew up having a fairly normal childhood. Interracial marriages or relationships were frowned upon in her time and later banned. But one day she fell in love with Richard Loving a man with white skin. He later proposed to her, and she accepted. But since interracial marriages were outlawed in Virginia, the couple left Virginia only to move back in later. And found together, they were later arrested. They took their case to court, and the famous case became known as Loving v. Virginia. They successfully lifted the ban on interracial marriages in Virginia and lived happily ever after until his death in 1975. She continued her work as an activist for civil rights and they even had a few books written about them and a movie about their famous case that became known as Loving v. Virginia. Thanks to all the students and staff who supported the candy, ca the candy sales this week to raise money for Feed My Starving Children. Today, Friday for February 7th, 40 students will represent SHMS at Feed My Starving Children packing session and we will give our school's donation to them. This is also a reminder the volunteers attending Feed My Starving Children today. Please exit your fifth period class at 140, pick up all your supplies for the weekend and store them in room 31. Then meet in the main office to load the bus at by 145. The bus will leave promptly at 145. Eastview High School Girls Lacrosse begins in April. Captain's practices for skills improvement will begin in February. This is a fast growing and fun sport for your spring athletics. If you are interested in playing lacrosse at the high school, please con for further help, contact Kevin Doyley at kmrdoyley at yahoo.com. Students in grade 6 have an opportunity to perform in Bravo 2020 at Eastview High School. Auditions are in the EVHS choir room on Sunday, February 9th from 1 to 2. No need to prepare anything for the audition or have previous singing or dancing experience. Just show up ready to have, sing and have fun. Last night, the SHMS Boys Beat Basketball team crushed Falcon Ridge with a 46 points to 26 point win. Top scorers were Mitchell Wilson with 11 points and Taylor Goldbranson and Logan Applegate with 10 points each. Overall, we found the openings on the court and drove for the hoop. Nice job, guys. Today, it will be mostly cloudy with a high of 28 degrees and a bit of snow. Saturday will be mostly cloudy and 22 degrees. Sunday, it will be 25 degrees and we are expected to get three to six inches of snow. So, have a Florida Beach fun Friday and please respectfully observe the Pledge of Allegiance.